the universe's scale and the enigma of the Fermi paradox the sheer enormity of the universe is difficult to comprehend. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, houses between 100 and 400 billion stars. If every star had at least one planet, this would mean there are potentially hundreds of billions of planets in our galaxy alone. Expanding this to the observable universe, which contains an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, the number of stars, and potentially planets, becomes staggering. Some estimates even suggest that there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on all of Earth's beaches. Given this abundance, the likelihood of extraterrestrial life existing elsewhere seems extraordinarily high. Yet, we have no evidence of alien civilizations attempting to communicate with us. This paradox, where the universe's vastness suggests the prevalence of life but no signals or encounters have occurred, is known as the Fermi Paradox. It poses a simple yet profound question, where is everyone? The discovery of the KBC void recent astronomical discoveries might provide a clue to resolving the Fermi paradox. Our galaxy is located near the center of a vast, underpopulated region of space known as the KBC void, also referred to as the local hole. This cosmic void, stretching approximately 2 billion light years across, represents one of the largest known voids in the universe. It is a region characterized by a significantly lower density of galaxies than the surrounding areas. The discovery of the KBC void was made by researchers Ryan Keenan, Amy Barger, and Lennox Cowie. Using galaxy redshift surveys, which measure the shift in light from galaxies caused by the universe's expansion, they constructed a three-dimensional map of galaxy distribution. This map revealed a massive spherical region with far fewer galaxies compared to other parts of the cosmos. The voids sized, about seven times larger than typical cosmic voids, posed a serious challenge to our understanding of cosmology. Challenges to the cosmological principle The discovery of the KBC void questions the cosmological principle, a cornerstone of modern cosmology. This principle assumes that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales, meaning matter is evenly distributed throughout. The significant underdensity in the KBC void challenges this idea, suggesting that the universe may have greater local variations than previously thought. Another challenge is the difficulty of simulating such a large void under the lambda cold dark matter lambda CDM, model, the most widely accepted cosmological framework. Simulations like the Millennium XXL, MXXL, simulation indicate that the gravitational forces within the Lambda CDM model are insufficient to produce such a vast under dense region. Despite these challenges, accumulating data from telescopes and surveys has confirmed the existence of the KBC void. The Hubble tension and the KBC void The KBC void might hold the key to solving one of the greatest puzzles in modern cosmology, the Hubble tension. This refers to the discrepancy between two methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate, expressed by the Hubble constant. The two methods, direct measurements of nearby galaxies and indirect calculations from the cosmic microwave background, CMB, yield conflicting results. Direct observations suggest a Hubble constant of approximately 73 km per second MPC, while CMB data gives a value closer to 67 km per second MPC. This disagreement has significant implications. The Hubble constant influences estimates of the universe's age. A higher constant suggests a younger universe, about 12.5 billion years, while a lower constant indicates an older one, around 13.8 billion years. This 10% age discrepancy challenges our understanding of cosmic history. Living within the KBC void offers a potential explanation for the Hubble tension. The void's lower density means weaker gravitational forces locally compared to the surrounding denser regions, which exert a stronger pull. This creates the illusion of an accelerated local expansion rate. Observations confirm that the expansion rate inside the void is approximately 11% faster than the true global rate, 
reconciling some of the discrepancies in Hubble constant measurements. Implications for the Fermi paradox The KBC voids characteristics provide new insights into the Fermi paradox. There are three main ways in which living within a cosmic void might influence the likelihood of detecting extraterrestrial life. 1. Isolation. The KBC void has fewer galaxies, stars, and potentially habitable planets. If intelligent civilizations are more likely to arise in denser regions, our location within this sparse void reduces the chances of nearby civilizations existing. 2. Distance and scale. The immense distances between galaxies in the KBC void make communication and travel exceedingly difficult. Even if advanced civilizations exist elsewhere in the void, the vast expanses might render their signals undetectable to us. 3. Avoidance. Advanced civilizations in denser regions might prioritize exploration and communication within their own populous environments. They could overlook or choose not to venture into sparsely populated voids like the KBC void. These factors suggest that while intelligent life might be abundant in the universe, our location in a vast, underpopulated void makes direct contact or communication highly improbable. Anthropic considerations The discovery of the KBC void also lends itself to philosophical interpretations, particularly the anthropic principle. This principle argues that the universe appears as it does because we, as observers, exist to perceive it. Our existence in a low-density region like the KBC void might not be coincidental but necessary for the development of life. Dense regions with frequent galaxy collisions and intense radiation may be less conducive to the emergence of life as we know it. Re-evaluating cosmology The KBC void challenges fundamental cosmological models, including the Lambda CDM framework. Adjusting this model to account for such large voids often requires introducing new physics, such as modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. MOND suggests alterations to gravity, particularly at low accelerations, eliminating the need for dark matter and predicting faster galaxy formation. The KBC void highlights the importance of adaptability in cosmological theories, particularly in the ongoing debate between Lambda CDM and MOND. Its vast, low-density nature challenges existing models and raises questions about the role of dark matter, dark energy, and the large-scale structure of the universe. This enigmatic supervoid may hold key insights that compel us to refine our understanding of the forces shaping the cosmos, illustrating the need to remain open to new perspectives in astrophysics. Conclusion The KBC Void presents a fascinating framework for exploring some of the universe's most profound mysteries, including the Fermi Paradox and the Hubble Tension. Its discovery challenges our core assumptions about cosmology and compels us to reconsider our place in the grand cosmic scheme. This vast, sparsely populated region underscores our relative isolation in the universe, offering a humbling perspective on our existence. While we may never fully unravel the enigmas it poses, the KBC void serves as a reminder of the universe's immense complexity and potential. Continued research into this mysterious region could lead to groundbreaking insights about the nature of the cosmos and the possibilities for life beyond Earth. Thank you for watching another episode of Alizeb. While you are still here, don't forget to like and subscribe.